Hi everyone and welcome to Tech Review. My name is John and today we're going to be taking a look at the new file system in iPad OS. This year has seen a split in iOS for iOS for your phone and iPad OS for your iPads. This has brought about some big changes for iPads making your iPad more like a laptop and in this video we're going to explore some of those changes and updates to file system in your iPad. The two big changes in the file system we're going to look at today is dedicated local storage on your iPad and the second being full support for external USB devices. When making this video I didn't have a USB-C flash drive so what I've used is a USB-C to USB 3.1 adapter which works perfectly. I got this from Amazon and I'll leave a description and link to that below for you. I've gone and put all sorts of files on this USB flash drive so let's plug it in and see what we can do. You can see I have Word documents, Excel files, video files, and even some PC specific files. And the new file system on the iPad, you can see everything. You've got full access to the USB external drive. Doing a long hold on a file or folder will drop down a list of options, even allowing you to compress the file or folder, which creates a zip file. Next, let's move a bunch of files over to the iPad. To do this, we tap select, then either tap select all or tap the files you want to copy over. Then we tap move and select on my iPad. If you want to create a new folder, tap the create new folder icon and then name your new folder. Now if we go back onto the iPad, look in our new folder, we can see we've copied all the files over and they are now local to your iPad. Going back to the flash drive, we can see that we can open up a PDF with absolutely no issues. We can mark up, we can even share in a number of different ways, including your contacts, and you can copy and even print. we open up a photo and we can find out we can do exactly the same things even share amongst our various contacts. You can even open up a video file and it plays perfectly. You can scrub through and even trim the video down to size. Again you can share in a number of ways even with apps like LumaFusion but right now this function doesn't appear to work. Now you have to remember this is still a beta one of iPadOS and I don't think that LumaFusion has yet been updated to take advantage of this, but I expect these features to be working in future releases. A quick way to copy a video into LumaFusion is open LumaFusion, then open the files in a split screen and drag and drop the video file, and that seems to work perfectly. Word and Excel files open in preview with no issues and again you have the options to share, copy and print. If you want to work on these files you have to go into numbers or pages and then you can browse for them on the USB stick. At the moment Word and Excel aren't able to browse the file system and see the USB device. Again this is early beta and support will be coming in future releases. This is just a quick look at the new file system for iPadOS, which is coming out later this year. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you've got, got any comments, I would love to hear them below. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. 